Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the most common abdominal condition that requires surgery, and that is appendicitis. We'll talk about the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of appendicitis from a nursing perspective. So without further ado, let's get started. Appendicitis is the most common abdominal cause of surgery. Typically, appendicitis is caused when the appendix gets blocked, and then that sets up a good environment for bacteria to grow in, and then that bacteria cause inflammation and infection. Viral infections, however, can also cause appendicitis. So how will you know if your patient has appendicitis? When we think of appendicitis pain, we typically think of pain being in the right lower quadrant, and specifically at a point called McBurney's point. McBurney's point is midway between the umbilicus and the anterior iliac crest. There's tenderness and guarding when you palpate this area. However, pain with appendicitis can also be periumbilical or around the umbilicus especially early in the course of appendicitis. Additional signs and symptoms are a lack of appetite and nausea and vomiting. As the condition progresses, however, patients can also develop a fever and tachycardia. So how do we as medical professionals diagnose and differentiate appendicitis from other abdominal pain conditions like say constipation. Always start with your physical exam and ask yourself these questions. Is the patient tender in the right lower quadrant? Are they nauseous or vomiting? Does their abdominal pain increase with movement? Next, draw and interpret your labs. Is their white blood cell count elevated? If the doctor ordered a CRP, is that also high? If your assessment is leading you down the appendicitis path, you can anticipate that the provider will probably order a CT scan since it's most definitive for finding appendicitis. Now, ultrasounds can also be used to find and diagnose appendicitis, but they are typically reserved for patients that cannot tolerate the radiation of a CAT scan. And the primary population that I think of are pregnant women. So once we've decided that the patient actually has appendicitis, we should probably treat them so their appendix doesn't rupture. The only definitive treatment is surgery, and typically the surgeon will be able to do a laparoscopic appendectomy where they make small incisions in the patient's abdomen to remove the appendix rather than making large incisions to open up the abdomen and remove the appendix that way. So as an ER nurse, all your interventions will be geared towards prep for surgery. Keep the patient NPO, give them IV antibiotics and IV fluids, give them nausea and pain medication as needed and ordered, obtain an informed consent after the surgeon has spoken to the patient about the risks and the benefits, and then change your patients into a gown taking off all clothing, all underclothes, jewelry, taking out dentures and hearing aids before the patient goes to the operating room. And then just monitor your patient's vitals and pain until they go to the operating room. Thanks for watching. If you missed my abdominal pain video, click the link on the left. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another one of my posts.